Okay, so DJI is clearly not messing around this year. July 2025, it's shaping up to be stacked. We're talking three major product drops all in the same month, the Osmo 360, the Osmo Nano, and the Mic 3. It's like DJI just hit the launch everything button. Now, officially, DJI is keeping it quiet, typical, um, but thanks to a bunch of leaks, FCC filings, and some very active internet detectives, we've got a pretty solid idea of what's coming, and it's looking really good. We'll go sequentially, from the product launching first to the last. Let's start with the Osmo 360. This one's expected to show up around July 15th, with most leaks pointing to a teaser dropping around July 8th. It's DJI's big leap into the 360 degree camera segment, directly challenging Insta360's popular X-Series and GoPro's Max line, but with DJI's usual flair. Prototype images show a compact rectangle shape, approximately 6.5 centimeters wide and approximately 9 centimeters tall with three buttons, a tap and swipe touchscreen, and a 7.55 watt hour swappable battery, same one used in the Osmo Action series. It also supports USB-C charging, micro SD, Wi-Fi 6, Bluetooth 5.1, and features an accessory mount with data power contacts. It's widely rumored to support a maximum 360 degree video resolution of 8K at 30 FPS. This would put it on par with the Insta360 X5, offering incredible detail and flexibility for reframing. The Osmo 360 is expected to be capable of shooting at 5.7K at 60 FPS and potentially even higher frame rates at lower resolutions, which is ideal for smooth action shots and slow motion. It will likely have a mode to shoot standard flat video using a single lens with rumored resolutions up to 4K at 60 FPS. And there's more. It's got a 1950 mAh battery and a smaller 1350 milliamp hour option. Um, the dual lens design delivers full spherical capture as expected. The leaked pics show a sleek, compact build, super pocket friendly, and that built in touchscreen means framing your shot is way less of a guessing game. What could really make it stand out? If DJI nails its signature rock solid stabilization and adds some smart AI stitching, this thing could absolutely crush it. And yeah, it'll likely run through the DJI Mimo app, which already makes editing and reframing a breeze. The real challenge? DJI needs to match the mature software ecosystems of Insta360 and GoPro, especially when it comes to reframing tools, creative effects, and easy sharing. Now, just over a week later, around July 23rd, comes the Osmo Nano. And, oh man, this one's for minimalist creators, basically DJI's answer to the Insta360 GO 3S. It's super small, modular, and built for people who want to clip a camera to their shirt and just go. Um, leaked images show a tiny camera module that magnetically attaches to a pendant, clip, or even a hat. Super stealthy, totally hands-free. Then there's a second module with a screen, a bit chunkier, but it gives you controls and likely more battery life. This modular setup lets you use the camera alone for minimal setups or pair it with the screen module when you need full control. Apparently DJI has also worked on heat management and of course it's still packing that smooth as butter stabilization if they price it under $400 like the rumors say. Insta360 is definitely going to feel the heat. And then, just when you think they're done, DJI Mic 3 is expected to land around July 29th. If you've used the Mic 2, you already know DJI isn't new to the wireless audio game, but the Mic 3, it's getting a serious glow up. We're talking a new squircle shape and a redesigned charging case, likely sleeker and with better battery life. Internally, it's expected to build on what made the mic too great, like 32-bit float recording, meaning you can scream or whisper and still get clean audio. No clipping, no distortion, just smooth, professional sound. Throw in the usual DJI perks, long wireless range, noise cancellation, and seamless pairing with other DJI gear, and yeah, vloggers and content creators are gonna love it. Oh, and if you thought July was the end of the story, nope! DJI's reportedly got even more coming later in 2025. 
The Mini 5 Pro might show up in August, with rumors of a 1-inch sensor and even LiDAR obstacle avoidance, everything under the sweet sub 250 grams weight. I'll link our video if you are interested to know more. There's also chatter about DJI potentially stepping into the mirrorless camera game, maybe in collaboration with Hasselblad. And yeah, we're also hearing about an Action 6 and next-gen FPV drones like the Avata 3 and Neo 2, though those are probably 2026 material. I know it's far, but um, people are eagerly waiting for these models. Um, so let me tell you a few things about them. About Avata 3. Rumors point to a larger 1-inch camera sensor. Um, the original Avata had a 1 over 1.7 inch sensor, and the Avata 2 stepped up to a 1 over 1.3 inch sensor. The natural next step for a significant jump in image quality is the 1 inch sensor, which has already been used in their other premium drones like the Air 2S and the Mavic 3 series. It's also expected to be faster, with a flight time of up to 25 minutes. Um, also a new omnidirectional obstacle avoidance system for safer flying in tight spaces and more confidence for pilots pushing their limits. Um, then we have the Neo 2. It sounds like DJI's next go-to drone for casual creators and first-time flyers. It's rumored to be super compact and lightweight with a huge boost in battery life, up to 40 minutes. That's more time in the air to get the perfect shot. It'll reportedly include advanced AI features like Active Track, letting it automatically follow subjects for hands free shooting. Plus, improved obstacle avoidance should make it safer and smoother to fly. With a potential launch in July 2025, the Neo 2 could be the perfect everyday drone for travel, vlogging, or just capturing life as it happens. So, yeah, DJI is coming in hot. Three big launches in one month, and even more right around the corner. If you're into cameras or audio gear, July is going to be wild, that's a wrap for now, but we'll be tracking all these launches as they drop. Uh, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a beat. DJI is just getting started. Peace. <laughs>